Yo, yo, what's good? What is good? Good people. We're back again. This is, uh, Elliot Hulse. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, Hulsey. We'll just call him Horsey because he, he he's, <laughs> he's about built like one because a monster. But, uh, and then he's with uh, the, the certified health nut, Troy Casey. I definitely recommend uh, checking checking that guy out. I remember one of the first videos. Uh, I may have checked him out a little bit before, and then what really connected with was when he he uh, was getting into uh, drinking the Orin. And drinking some aged. Then you know, here and there, I, I've kind of caught some of his videos, and I always, I always vibe with him. He has, he has a lot of energy. Uh, he, he, he's intense at times, but uh, just he's, he's fucking pure engagement, man. Like you watch how this guy fucking breathes and and the movements that he does and. It's fucking crazy, and, and <laughs> I'm not for sure of his age, but I'm pretty sure it's it's up there in years, uh, <laughs> and it's all dependent upon your your engagement, how you choose to interact and engage. That's gonna be how you age. So you can age with grace, or you can age with. <laughs> the opposite and you know become like uh, like what you're led to believe is supposed to happen whenever you quote unquote age but look at nature look what happens when things age in nature and of course depending upon your inner work the uh, the the clarity that you have uh, cultivated within that's going to be dependent upon what you are able to see without so if you haven't done much work and you look at nature then you're going to see nature dying because you are dying and yes i've said that you know that's not that's not a real world word <laughs> and uh yes this is accurate because uh, what's happening with, with quote unquote death is a uh, it's a forget, for, forgetfulness. It's not being aware of the subtleties. It's ignoring what's really going on with the amazing perfection that you are allowing the scripts and conscripts that you that most everyone is is indoctrinated into and cold into allowing that mentality to dictate your reality that's going to represent itself in how you appear physically There's a lot of quote unquote elderly people who are quite gorgeous, quite blossoming with beauty. Uh, stunning. Absolutely stunning. They can do things that they couldn't do um, in their younger years because of wisdom. Because of gnosis, because they've engaged this and realized how shit really works inside.
Uh, so yeah, let's not go <laughs> too deep into that, because, yes, um, let's see, five minutes, um, I, I want to give a shout out to Martin Slesis, the new World's Strongest Man, uh, I just watched his most recent upload, and him winning the thing, and I've I've been following him his YouTube uh, for for a little while not not all that long. He just was kind of one of these people that popped up uh, probably because of Juji Mufu, and then I started following him and uh, just just his mentality and his levity has been uh, very much absorbed and appreciated and absorbed into the collective as well, I, I'm, dare say, but, uh, watching that last video of him winning, and then the emotion that, that happened, uh, with the people that surround him, um, that was intense, man, I got emotional, like, that was, I already knew that he won, but, like, just, witnessing the experience and, and the people that are close to him and 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 <laughs> witnessing their emotion like man that was whoo I got the feels on that one <laughs> oh and by the way whenever he was asked Martins is a fucking hilarious motherfucker too like he's just an awesome human being, regardless of anything else. Oh, he's, he's a muscle-bound, uh, you know. No, dude, like, yeah, he is, but he's not egotistical at all. In fact, during the, the competition, he just got done with, uh, one of the, one of the things, uh, categories, obstacles, and, uh, he was, he was spent, man. He was walking back. He was huffing and puffing. And a fan, someone wanted uh, an autograph or a photo or something. And, you know, he's he's out of it. He's like, no, later, later. Like, not right now. And then immediately he's like, wait a second. You know, he doesn't, he, no. He, he's not going to choose that. And like, he's like, no, fuck it. Yeah, let's do this. And then he ended up doing that and then signing other people's stuff, taking photos, while he was exhausted. And I really feel like that's why he won, is because he got <laughs> the backing of so many uh, hearts were, were in him and, and supporting him and his team. The, I really feel like that's what powered him to be able to perform the way he did. So yeah, shout out to that guy. Shout out to all you motherfuckers. Shout out to fucking... Just everyone. Zen App Man, of course. Fucking, uh... Shout out to my engine Abaddon, because, uh, this motherfucker, one of his videos, uh, not too long ago, was, was of Elliot Hulse, this guy. And... It kind of got me to actually watch this video. Even though... Uh, Elliot, whenever he first started coming out, he was he was very... Uh, had, had crazy testosterone energy and just off the cuff. Blam, 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 blam. Just... And so, uh, watching this video, I was immediately very appreciative that he was taking his time, uh, feeling the things that he wanted to express. So that was, that was fucking beautiful. Immediately, I knew that this was going to be really, a, a really beneficial video for people. Not that his other ones weren't, it's just, whenever you can get in touch with your heart, and connect that with the mentality that's going to reach more people's hearts. The heart of hearts. And it's very important uh, that that is happening with people. Especially 
with strong people so that more people can connect with the heart, connect with that mentality and make themselves stronger. That's what it's all about. You got to do the work for yourself, make yourself strong, gain insight, gain inspiration from anything and everything and everyone. But ultimately, you got to put in the work. So yeah, I uh, also shout out to uh, let's see, just just everyone, uh, June, Junie, Juniperus, and Danny Skylark, of course. And the Skyhopper. My heart has been with all you guys, and it's just really magical to connect with you guys. To feel your expression, to feel your intent beyond the words it's it's a fucking beautiful thing to listen to your poetry and the music that comes out of you it's, it's absolutely glorious and you're doing more than you know you're, you're spreading that energy out beyond just you know uh, whatever platform you're sharing it with uh, Instagram or YouTube or whatever uh, because being a human means that you're connected with all humans regardless of if you are aware of it or not so whenever you have uh, inspiration or a heartfelt connection that's felt throughout the whole web so it's very much appreciated and felt the ones that are engaged with the heart and the mem ori. <sighs> Don't want to go too deep there. Because <laughs> I've been feeling some very deep mem ori's lately. And I've been uh, constantly coming back to the intent and the engagement and the origin points. of causality, of all causality. So, yeah, I, I've just been going through that. Uh, uh, the energies, uh, I don't want to go too new agey and shit, but the, the energies have been very crazy and chaotic, and both sides and polarities, like, the love has been immense, and then the chaos has been immense, and the uh, the bullshit has been immense. But uh, it, it's all up to us how we choose to navigate it, and whenever we are in a space and concentrated, uh, focused in our own awareness of, of what we are, what, where we stand, so to speak, how we understand our reality, then we are able to witness things with uh, more clarity. Oh my gosh, okay, so yeah, let's play this. This isn't very long. I don't know how much I'll play of it. But uh, basically, like, they do a quick workout here. Uh, it's a simple workout, and that's also something I'm very pleased with. <laughs> I'm pleased with y'all. Uh, with you all. Y'all. Y'all. Putting out info and information and engagements of... How working out doesn't need to be this convoluted thing because much of 
what we've been indoctrinated into is, is very convoluted and has a certain agenda, which is gain and profit for a certain corporation or individual or people. So I'm seeing a lot of videos about engagement in the body and less you could say uh, it, it still can be intense but it's less uh, of a time period so it's intense work and shortened uh, intervals of this but the key is consistency you got to be consistent with it and then allow the body, allow the memory inside the body to feel where your mentality is, where you want to go with it. And your body will, will do what it does. And it's a very beautiful thing to experience. It's very magical. So we're here at uh, Gold Gym, the iconic, the historic, the one and only. And uh, we've got all this equipment and all this space. We're going to do the most high-tech, innovative workout you've ever seen, complex, ah. you've ever seen in your life. And just a moment here. So uh, stay tuned. That's it. I came all the way this way just to do this. And that's that's quite funny, and because that's actually one of the things that <laughs> that uh, the in the world's strongest man competitions, that's one of the things that they do is, you know, as well they do it as quick as they can, but they walk with. Uh, run I guess as fast as they can with with uh, certain increments of weights but yes this is something that absolutely is full body you don't realize the work that your body's doing until you really get into it and uh, start messing around with certain levels of weights and then the longer that you do it you start to use different muscle groups in your body, uh, the speed in which you're doing it, uh, where you're holding the weight, how you're holding the weight, how your posture is. You become acutely aware of how posture dictates where the energy goes. You have to have correct and uh, appropriate posture, but also your you got to be in alignment, so your skeletal structure needs to be uh, very much in alignment, so that the energy can flow efficiently. And then you can start to engage uh, in, in deeper stuff and more intensive stuff whenever you have the basics down, the foundation. It all starts with foundation in everything in life. Whenever you build something, what, in anything, in any kind of business that you have, it all starts with foundation. You've got to have strong, firm foundations. And then you will have lasting benefits. Lasting fruition. And this is why the asanas of yoga are so important. It's because you get in touch with that foundation, with that breath work, with that core beingness. And then also you learn to become your own chiropractor. You realign your body so that it can handle more and more energy.
Oh, and I also wanted to say, uh, I forgot to say, I think, uh, Elliot, from what I saw, he got a ripped bicep, so, to do that, what he's doing with that is pretty profound. And then also what I wanted to say is, uh, the other dude, the, the certified health nut, and a lot of ripped motherfuckers, like, whenever they have their shirts on, they, they just kind of look like, you know, average guys, like, uh, skinny, they, they look like skinny dudes. But whenever you see that fucker with his shirt off, like, god damn, dude, he's fucking jacked. And then also, he looks more jacked because of his alignment. So his body is, is able to be more efficient in the energy placement and output. So he's able to move quicker to uh, engage more power because of this. Also, I wanted to say that fucking uh, certified health nut, uh, he's always reminded me of myself. And uh, he, he cracks me up. It's a humorous dude. And I'm not for sure about, about his age, but yeah, like I said in the beginning, like, I think he's up there. And uh, this, he's just a perfect fucking example of you know, <laughs> quote unquote age, you know, you can, you can age with grace and age like wine or like, you know, cheese, you know, you, you become better with age if you do so with the clarity of what's happening whenever you have more cycles under your belts. <laughs> You know, obviously you're, you're training grip strength, but why'd you choose to just do a bunch of farmers today? Ah, uh, volume, you know. I find that's the best way to get into that conditioning. Both for the grip the muscle, but then the cardio, you know. Farmers want the whole body. I don't think there's a better exercise for strength and conditioning combined. Just picking up heavy dumbbells and walking with it. Heart rate is up, we were breathing. Hands are working, legs are working, core is working. Shoulder stability. You're stabilizing, you're mobilizing. It's just so much. It's so simple. <laughs> yeah. Nothing complex. Of course, I was messing with you guys before. Okay, nothing high tech, nothing complex about grabbing some buckets, pails, and going for a walk. 85 pound buckets, going for a walk. Doing the 10 sets is about doing high intensity interval training, really. That's basically what yeah. it is. Yeah. And I think it takes us maybe 30 seconds to get down and back. You know, rest for about two minutes. Good. Yeah, so I mean, I I love to do the, to do this stuff uh, out in nature. I'll do it with, you know, uh, just fallen trees or whatever I can find, logs. Um, in my apartment, I will do it with certain weights. And then also, like... Uh, you gotta think, you know, when we talk about foundation, uh, you know, core strength, yeah, leg strength, yeah, but, you know, it, your foundation is your feet. It starts with your feet. So, to, to move your feet different ways to gain ankle strength, to do, to do those, uh, like, certain kind of calf raises to where you're also engaging your feet and your calves. Uh, I walk around like this with weights, and then I'll have my, uh, my feet turned inward to where the outside of my feet is on the ground and walk like that and then also the opposite to, to strengthen the, the ankles and the feet and then also it, it kind of gets you more engaged with uh, accessing that part of your body and your foot whenever you're Whenever, if you want to do like leg leg strikes, leg kicks, you want to hit with the heel, or I'm sorry, well yes, the heel, but also it's called the blade of the foot, and the outside of the foot, you hit with that, 
and uh, you get more impact, more connectivity with the whole body. You can access the bone structure, the skeletal structure. <laughs> Body workout, especially with your arms. Yes, definitely. Yeah, these blow up real fast, but ready for the beach. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I've, I've been you know kind of experimenting and engaging arm wrestling a little bit, and uh, researching about about that and doing those kind of workouts and also arm wrestling a lot that that crazy pumps the forearms and it's just a whole different dynamic whenever you're you know uh, engaging another human being in that way like with arm wrestling and uh, everyone's different so it's just the more uh, bodies you can get in front of you uh, the the more information, the more input that, that you're going to have to learn from. It's the exact same with any kind of martial arts or any kind of engagement. You just, you learn from each other. So whenever you can get someone who... <laughs> it's not just focused upon the win or going all out. It's, in, it's more focused upon the experience. Learning from each other. Taking their time. Then you can really start to engage with, you know, deeper level learning. And that's, that's really magical whenever you can engage with someone like that. Because more often than not, the ego and the testosterone is going to get involved and people just want to go all out. And, you know, yeah, you can learn, you definitely learn from every experience, but it's... It's a limited, it's a limited uh, aspect. And then the, the whip keeps set, because the fatigue sets in, yeah. you start activating different muscles. Yeah, exactly. Like the first five sets is very different than the last five sets. You know, I start feeling more of my shoulders stabilize towards the end. So, exactly. All right, Jesus. Wow, so far it's been an amazing day out. Yeah, and that, that guy looks like a Jesus motherfucker. The fucking uh, certified health nut. Shout. Okay, let's fast forward some of this. Get to the ice bath. Now this is interesting. This I have never seen before, which is uh, just a deep freezer, and that's what they use for the ice or for the super freeze water. I don't know why that's never like, occurred to me. I've never seen that before, but that's something I think I want to invest in, or at least find one. I'm sure I could find one if I look for it for relatively cheap, because uh, in the in the in the summertime, the cold showers, that they're not really cold. And yeah, maybe they are for people who aren't really acclimated to cold water or they're uh, used to air conditioning. I do not use air conditioning. So uh, here in the Midwest, the humidity is quite something. So we're not, not not using air conditioning is fucking especially whenever you uh, you dehydrate yourself willingly or unwillingly sometimes <laughs> not not as uh, knowingly sometimes uh, it can get pretty fucking intense it can get really fucking intense if you've ever done uh, saunas or uh, What is it called? 
uh, the, the Indian style, Native American, where they are in uh, teepees and having uh, saunas like that. That can get very intense and very trippy, and you you gotta you gotta be careful that you're not, you know, that that you're prepared for that, but also that you're prepared to uh, not be acclimated, or especially if you've grown up within you know air conditioning and certain conveniences. Whenever you're weaning yourself off of that, you gotta be careful and do so at your own level and eventually you can get to the point where you're just you're okay with any kind of you know weather or uh, condition environment and that in and of itself strengthens the body strengthens the mind a great deal <laughs> Beautiful. Haha. <laughs> yes. You've been breathing before to oxygenate the blood and just to get mentally prepared to come out of the head a little bit so you can take the ice. Get the head if you can, if you want the pineal there. The pineal gland. Yep. Takes about 30, 40 seconds. Drop in. And whenever I first watched this, I was I was really impressed because almost immediately he just got right into it with his breath, with. controlling his breath which to me indicates someone who is experienced with it but that I was very impressed with that uh, it was it was very quick even even for someone that is experienced with it to be so quick with that that that's very impressive so kudos to that guy you dropped it. Is that a certain point? Like, you just don't feel it anymore. Like, yeah. Feel it. Yeah. Moment, exactly. Like, you think you can do 10 minutes? No, I was doing 10 minutes in my house. Oh, you were? <laughs> I mean, you, you have this in your house. No, I would buy like 10 bags of ice. You get your money's worth. Right, that was the point. <laughs> when I go in the next day. Well, there's still ice flows in there. Uh, this is a great idea. This is what I'll do next. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's cheap. Huh? Yeah, it's yeah, full meat. Other yeah, meat, not my meat. No, <laughs> <laughs> my meat. <laughs> when was the last time you did ice bath? Probably a month ago. So yeah, that just goes to show you, once the body has experienced something, uh, the cellular memory it's in the memory, the water inside of you, the lights is still there. So it's, it's, it's a very amazing thing to experience. Like uh, sometimes we, you know, the forgetfulness uh, takes hold and we forget what we've experienced until we re-experience it. And even if it's been, you know, quite some time since we've had a similar experience, the memory is still inside. It's still there. And it comes back and it's like, oh yeah, duh. <laughs> this this is the case with uh, a lot of different things. And especially with uh, different plant spirit medicines, different entheogens, uh, different levels of engagement and awarenesses and meditation and uh, dimensions. Accessing different depths of beingness. We'll have this uh, aha, oh yeah. I remember this, and this is also why I wanted to, a big part of why I wanted to sh uh, share this video is because the, they go into some of the uh, I think it's called snuff or you know the blowing in through the nostril, but I've never I've never seen or even heard of maybe I've heard of it, 
but I can't really remember if I have or not. Uh, what they do, which which is tobacco. So that's very interesting to me. I don't think they say what kind of tobacco, but I'm I'm. I think it's a safe guess that it's the kind of tobacco that I smoke, which is Nicotiana Rustica. It's the spirit tobacco, the shamanic tobacco. Get your hands on some of that if you smoke tobacco. If Even if you don't, if, if you're curious about uh, certain levels of engagement or beingness, get your hands on some, some spirit tobacco. Because it's called that for a reason. It strengthens your spirit. It strengthens your engagement with spirit. Of course, as with everything, anything and everything, even life, don't become too attached to any one thing. Infrared sauna, though. I have a new uh, sauna. One of my clients gave me. So we've been going in there. I've been going in up to an hour. And with the infrared, I turn it up to like 140 something. I don't know if it goes much higher. Yeah. And uh, I think 140 is the cap on most of those. Uh, I've done those in the past. Uh, whenever you're first starting out with infrared saunas, uh, make sure. If you have enough air in there, so if you need to crack the door open a little bit, do so. Otherwise, you're going to be really fucking lightheaded. Uh, push yourself to where you, you can uh, increase in increments. But, uh, yeah, you, you can do so many things with that in, in, in the sauna. You, you can have some crazy fucking meditations. Bring some singing bowls in there with you. Some... some uh, crystals and certain types of stones, some obsidian. Yeah, and just sweat it out. That's that's some deep shit for sure. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. You have to, dude. Yes. It's a monkey bone. Deer like a rib or something? Monkey bone and deer bone. This is deer and this little part is like monkey shit. That's fucking awesome. I think I missed that the first time I watched this. They got deer bone on the end and then monkey on the front. That's fucking badass. <laughs> Gold well, well, uh, and, and the crocodiles. The Indians from Colombia send them stuff up here yeah. once a month or so. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so this is this is a tepe and they also have a caribe which goes like that self administer it yeah. and so um, the tobacco is the shaman and I, yeah okay like he was getting that there I stopped it a little bit too late like listen to this shit because this this is for real like if you want if you smoke cigarettes if you engage with tobacco this is the real deal here you need to get yourself some actual tobacco that has spirit in it that's not fucking pussified and eh, yeah well that's just what it is it's pussified americanized tobacco you, you don't want that shit even if you're buying that shit and rolling it yourself of course that's crazy more beneficial than smoking the fucking cigarettes that you buy with with the the crazy cocktail of tar and chemicals that actually is what gets you addicted and has the negative health effects. But of course, anytime you smoke anything excessively, it, it's going to have a negative effect on your lungs. But you can counteract that with 
immediate pranayama work right after you smoke, which is what I recommend everyone does. If they, any kind of smoker out there, do some intensive breath work immediately after you smoke, whatever you smoke. And that's going to greatly help you in the long term, the long run. So yes, shaman tobacco, it's, it strengthens the spirit. It's, it's a protector of the spirit. You don't even need to smoke it is a beautiful thing. You can use it as incense. You can just have it around you. Yeah, it's it's an ally. It's an ally. The purpose of tobacco is to ground you to the earth and clear negative energy. So smoke penetrates uh, other dimensions. So, yes. so some shaman use it for smoke. Ah, uh, <laughs> motherfucker! Penetrates other dimensions. Uh, it's of the ether, so it connects you with that realm, the etheric realm, the lighter, subtler realms. And it strengthens you in those realms. Because uh, part of being a human, a hu-wom man, is uh, you have access to all these hues, to all the colors. What is dependent upon your perception of these things is how you engage. What are you aware of? Because it's all always there. But what you have access to is dependent upon what you're aware of. So, if you're not used to traveling, traversing these realms, then yes, AIDS will, will greatly benefit you. Little, little helpers like spear tobacco or the the mother herb the the mother herb and the father herb that that is the that is the combo there and then you can even go a depth a depth deeper where you throw in some lotus petals or some mugwort if you want to go a little bit clearer in the mental spheres, in the subtle spheres. P potentially throwing some catnip, some Damiana. There's a lot of different kind of herbs that you can, it's all dependent upon your experience, what you want to experience in the moment. There's, there's all kinds of different kind of herbs for that. Educate yourself about mother, about Gaia, about mama gnosis. She knows what you need. All you need to do is wake up to it. We shall use it for the brain. That's right. Any anything that's in the body, any kind of demons and stuff, I've seen exorcisms just from this stuff. And he'll tell you. Uh, and that's something that's uh, synchronistically enough has been coming up in my experiences, even if it's just like in a joking manner. Uh, exorcism. And, uh, what that's like, uh, in truth, whenever you're of a certain vibration and people choose to be in your awareness for a certain period of time, they're just going to naturally have an exorcism happen. It's just, it's just going to be part of the engagement that happens. Whenever you engage in certain shamanistic practices, you're going to have people come to you. You're going to attract certain things to you. And it's up to you how you want to navigate these things. These energies that are existing within people. Focus on the energies more than the actual 
personas or people, the embodiments of these energies, come back to the quintessential essence, the origin, the energy that's being engaged. And then you're going to be able to navigate easier in life, in reality, with people who are caught up in these energies. They're going to have these exorcisms, <laughs> if you want to call it that, happen whenever they're around you because you, you have clarity of the energies. It's an initiation process. Uh, it's, yeah, it's huge. And he put a huge pile in his hand. And blew it up his nose the first time. Yeah, I had a, and he was staying for three hours. Three hours. That's crazy. Like, just, just tobacco. I mean, not, not just tobacco, but, you know, spirit tobacco, nicotiana tobacco. That shit's fucking powerful. And whenever you ingest it like this, evidently, it's crazy fucking powerful. I have yet to do this. Um, from what I have witnessed, um, I've only witnessed, I think it's called Iboga, being shot up the nose and people's experiences with that so uh, from what I've researched upon that that's very uh, very strong medicine it really connects you with your ancestors that's something I, I definitely am interested in trying at some point Whenever I'm called, not cold, <laughs> it will happen. So yeah, that's crazy to think about. Three hours just from spirit tobacco. But then again, you know, I've experienced this as well. Just, just from ingesting it, you know, uh, orally uh, through the lungs. Uh, engaging the DMT just through the breath. Yeah, like that really, now that I come to think about it, yeah, that makes sense. Because this is like, it injects it within you. It's very much like mu a mushroom experience. Uh, it injects it within you, and then you're, you're along for the ride, depending upon the dosage. But if you have any kind of uh, work that you've done, beforehand, before these experiences, you can engage uh, your breath work. You can engage these parts of mind, the parts of uh, certain areas within the brain and access certain, certain points to where you're able to really work with the medicine on a deeper level instead of just being along for the ride. That's a lot. This is a lot for him. We'll give you a lot, a lot less, unless you want more. That's a good amount. Who are you working with today, Alex? Letting go of limiting beliefs. Okay. And this is immensely important. Clarifying your intent, stating your purpose, your reason, your where your focal point is. And oftentimes it's going to change whenever the experience happens, the onset. It's going to take on its own form and you're going to be like, ah, this is what I really need to work on. But just getting into that mind state beforehand, letting everything else go, getting into that meditative mind state where you're becoming more and more focused. This is, I'm doing this for a specific reason. This isn't like a party thing. This isn't just to have fun. It can be quite entertaining and fun. Especially the more you engage with certain things. You learn how to surf their waves and ride the vibe. Surf's up, bra. Yeah, and it's just fucking fun. But whenever you're really getting into it and down deep, you need to be clear. You need to have that clarity point first before you go into the engagement. And that's not, that's, like I said, that's not going to necessarily dictate your experience. 
just taking that time to get clear before you go into it. And then, it's very important just to let go and release into it. Freedom. The dream. And these sounds are very important uh, shamanic sounds. Uh, just the airy sounds, the wavy sounds. Whoosh, whoosh. It sounds like you're in a cave or underwater. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Expansion. And that guy takes it like a champ. Beautiful. Beautiful. And once you have had certain levels of experiences with certain substances, all you need is just to smell it. All you need is just that. And really, you get to a point where you just need to touch it, and then and then you know you you can. The memory is there, so you don't need to keep having these trips. These big fucking blast offs if you work with it you integrate you don't need to keep blasting off with DMT when you realize that you are fucking DMT you have that inside of yourself these things are just here to help remind you of what you have access to it's all within you it's all within all of this we've just forgotten the keys the gateways these things are here to remind us of the gateways. So there's no need to blast off over and over again once you realize that <laughs> you can blast off yourself. So what would you say, Elliot? Small, medium, or large? What was that? That was, uh, that was medium. <laughs> that was a good size. Go medium. <laughs> And I appreciated that because he wanted he wanted to have an experience. He didn't want to have necessarily too strong of an experience. Like, but he he chose medium because this was his first time with this. He he wanted to have a strong experience, but not too strong that he wasn't wasn't going to be able to integrate. This is very, very key here. This speaks quite a bit to this guy and his level of awareness and beingness that he wants to learn from it. That, that's what he chose. He chose, I want, I want a strong experience, but I still want to learn from it. That's beautiful. Um, Alex, shut up. Alex has got a little, a little bit of a cowboy. Alex has got some pants. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get some time to inform us on the indigenous people of this earth. Any attention you want to set? Uh, share the things yourself. A uh, traditional way to receive this medicine is looking at another man in his eye and uh, heart to heart. Any blessings to the family? That's that's fucking beautiful. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not, but essentially it's like connect with the indigenous, connect with the ancestors, ancestors, connect eye to eye, connect heart to heart, and you give blessings not just to him but to his family, to his lineage. So I mean, the guy administering here, he's not only has had work done on him by shaman, but he's integrated. So he is the shaman now. He is the shaman giving the medicine now. So this this is just fucking beautiful, people. And these sounds are very much part of it. Beautiful. 
Took it like a champ. Nice, dude. And it's hitting him hard. I can tell. Yep. Exactly. Masculine, fem feminine. You say do both sides. Both nostrils. It's hitting him really hard, too. But he's going to accept the other side now. Beautiful. Good job. Nice job, Elliot. Yes. And this is just a part of it. Wow! <laughs> This happens with uh, intensive breath work, uh, DMT release. Uh, you'll, you will see this whenever people engage with Wim Hof techniques. They laugh, they cry. This is just what happens whenever we uh, get really in touch and in tune with the quintessential essence of beingness. It's it's too much to, to hold in, really. You just have to release, whether that be, you know, you need to let out, you know, pain or cry or you just need to laugh and it may be just flip between the two and laugh and cry and laugh and cry and that's just a part of it and it's beautiful and you need to just let it release let it flow and it's just it clears the energy it clears the channels <laughs> It's like the brain is on fire. It, it might, yeah, it's like an astringent just when it cleans out. Astringent, yes. Exactly. Yeah, whatever's not essential has got to go. Yeah, it felt like just like a power wash. <laughs> yes. So, so if they're out hunting and maybe the the buddies are arguing or something yeah. or tribal meetings before you know, the meeting, everybody, it's like reboot. Boom. Yeah. Reboot. Really on one thing. Getting food for the trap. Get everybody. Yes. Uh, kind of wish I wouldn't have included that part, but just because the whole food thing, like that's so convoluted. Like you don't, you don't need food. Like the, the pollen, the essences, the the energies in the air. That's, that can be your food, but. It take, that takes a good solid minute as in minute as in many lifetimes to come back to and, and realize that you don't need to eat anymore. You can just be and allow you can you eat through breathing because that word is in breath you and once you realize that all of your pores of your body are portals, are portholes, bringing in energy, extracting out what you don't need. Like your whole body breathes. It's not just it's not just your lungs. Your whole body breathes. Life is breath. And this is something you can come in contact with whenever you do deep pranayama work, deep breath work, deep Wim Hof, and also deep you know, shamanic experiences, plant spirit medicines, and theogens. You can have these experiences and reminders that you can go for long periods of time without quote-unquote breathing through the lungs and then once you do start breathing again you realize oh my gosh I haven't breathed in quite a while how how was that possible well because you are always breathing your body constantly breathes 
there's many layers to this thing that we have been told and called breath. Micro and macro. Your skin breathes. Your lungs can breathe. Your heart breathes. Your mind breathes. Your brain breathes. The sutures in your skull, of your skull, expand and contract with each breath. Your whole body breathes. So this is another beautiful thing with engaging deeply with shamanic work is redefining the words, redefining reality, redefining what it means to eat, to have sustenance, to put real nut rich in, to be rich in nuts, what real nutrition is. How little you really need to be very vibrant, to be essential, to access the essential nature. You don't need much, but you do need, you do need to pay something, and that's attention. Pay attention. Swim within the awareness. And maybe you'll start to remember the ember that is within us all. Awaiting to be gently blown on and integrated and set aflame so that our mind becomes aflame again with gnosis, engagement of what it really means to be. Peace, y'all.